We'll see. B5S4, everybody suggested a B5S4. Um, I have thought about it. It would make a lot of YouTube videos because it would break all the time, but I kind of want a car that's reliable too, so. I'm on the hunt for something else. And I may be making a really bad decision because I've been looking at, I've been, no, 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 I'm not buying a Honda. I've been looking at B5S4s. I said I wouldn't own a B5S4 until I had a place to keep it when it was broken, and well, yeah. here's, now. here's the place to keep it when it's broken, so. Well, hold uh, on, wait, we gotta figure out which cars are gonna break first so that we can... Well, Zach's cars will be functional after he's done with this. So my B5S4, if I buy one, if, if, if I buy one, live will live right here. <laughs> Today's the day. I've been hunting this car for, well, years now, since 2013. It's almost been 10 years. I finally have in my possession a B5S4. All right, so how did I find this car? Well, I went to my, oh, that was a little squeaky. Went to my local B5S4 dealer right here. If you guys don't know Cam, Cam's on Instagram, he's Skittles S4. He has how many B5s right now? If you get rid of this one. We're down to seven. We're down to seven, only seven. Only seven. 28 of them. 28. You've owned 28 of In them. In my lifetime. The, the man is 21 years old, he's on 28 B5s. It's more than one B5 for every year of your life. <laughs> that's a stressful life. A little stressful, yeah, that's, that's a chosen life too. I don't know why he chose that. But, uh, so I don't know if you know, back like 10 years ago, I went and looked at one of these. It was Santorin Blue. It was an auto. They were asking eight grand for it. And I had a PPI done and needed another $4,000 of work right off the bat. So I bagged that, I bought my GTI instead. Gone through the whole journey, and now here we are 10 years later. It was meant to be. It was meant to be, I got one, got one. Um, I was actually gonna buy Cam's Nagaro blue car. That car got sold for a way better price than you offered me, so I'm glad you sold it. Pennsylvania. Yeah, out in Pennsylvania. This car <laughs> came up, and so you have two hibiscus cars right now. Down to one. Well, okay, sorry, you, you had two hibiscus cars, this came out of Cam's personal collection, not the like flip cars that you not, do. Not the flip cars, this was a personal car for a long time. Um, and then you were gonna trade this. So yeah, so a little rundown. Uh, I got um, a text from another B5er out west. He wanted to trade his wide body Avant for two rare color sedans. So he wanted this and, and one of your Amola cars. Yeah, one of my Amola cars. So. He said he wanted a hibiscus when I only had one hibiscus, and this is my favorite color, it's the rarest color. So I decided I needed to double up on him before, <laughs> I, before I got rid of one. So I found another one for sale, went and picked it up. The guy said it had a minor oil leak. Um, me and Omar got it home and all the oil puked out all over the garage floor. My, well, that's minor for these cars. <laughs> that, that, minor, guess, major is the motor's yeah. gone, minor is it's on the ground. All right, so I guess that guy didn't lie. But anyways, can't really sell that car with all the work it needs, so I'm gonna have to fix that one up and that'll be my new hibiscus, but this was the personal. This was the Cam's, first. this was like Cam's baby right here. So uh, Cam and I have been talking a lot about buying cars. I was gonna buy the Nagaro car. I was gonna buy the Amola car. I end up here buying the hibiscus car. This car's got, 180 on it, right? 180. Just turned over 180. It's got 180, 180, 802 on but it. These seats look like they've never been sat. Honestly, yeah. This uh, this interior is immaculate. The paint is pretty good. We got uh, a little bit of funkiness on the ceiling, but the previous owner polished this out for Cam. So we just played with doing the other side. If you can see, the other side is now much better over here as well. Oh, didn't focus. Hey, there we go. The other side's much, come on. Wow. Other side is much, I, I, it doesn't focus. Anyway, moral story, this is gonna polish out. We're gonna have to do a whole detailing video. You sell detailing products, hit me up. I'm gonna have to fix that. Sounds like a horror movie. <laughs> dude, that's bad, that's pretty bad. All right, I need, I, I need some money off for that, dude. What, what is, come on. Yeah, a couple grand off the ass. Okay, all right, yeah, knock him down. Give me some money back. <laughs> but uh, completely bone stock other than a set of coilovers and an excess power cat back. Cat back. Not even downpipe. Stock cat still in the car. All the plastics in the car. Cam and I went through. It's got the first aid kit. It's got the tool kit. What else did it have? Spare tires. Got full-size full, spare. Full-size spare. 
my my buddy Alex found an ad for this car from the owner before the guy you bought it from. Did I include a link for that? I, I could put the link, yeah, I could put the link down below. It had VMR wheels on it. Um, and uh, actually the spare in the trunk is a fifth VMR. Cam and I just discovered that the other day. If you look under here, where am I going, right here? Look, I'm a freaking B5 owner already. Another VMR wheel. It has the faintest smell of marijuana in the trunk, <laughs> which is definitely a B5 thing. No surprises there. All right, we're fixing the horror movie door. Before you can make any money off the sound. Yeah, yeah. You didn't record it. I'm gonna be sound. selling the sound online if anyone wants that uh, <laughs> horror movie sound. And now the door's quiet. Yeah, we'll put a little PB on the carpet. And now we got no more, <laughs> no more noise in the door. There you go. That's the first upgrade. YouTube. First mod right there. YouTube back in there. We should, uh, we should make a whole video surround it. We'll make an eight minute long video, how to lubricate your doors. We'll talk for seven minutes, 10 seconds of PB, and then a 50 second outro. We got eight minutes, we're in business. Dude, that's a good video. Let me, Cam's gonna be starting his own YouTube channel. <laughs> how to be five. Auto Look how beautiful this is. We got no rot on the license plate uh, Inserts. holder. Inserts. There's, I mean, there's not even rust. There's, I know if you got a B5 and you're in New England, these are all rotted these up. These are all rotted up. And, and check this out. We got no rust back here, no rust up here. And if you come to the front, no rust up here. And the same story on the other side. Show them the roll fender. Oh, oh yeah, hang on. I'll, I'll show you the roll fender in a second. But Cam and I did some researching because there's little scratches on the rear here. It's like, I think this car had mud flaps. Sure enough, in the for sale ad from the second owner, there's mud flaps on the car. So I think that's part of the reason why there's no rust, but it was also a Southern car. I mean, even the door blades, everything is mint down here. Um, fenders are rolled. We found that out just now. Um, whoever rolled these fenders, like borderline professional. If you're the guy who rolled the fenders on this car. I got uh, six more jobs for you. Yeah, we, we got a lot of work for you. <laughs> But same story on this side. I mean, he just barely pulled the fenders. They like perfectly rolled. The paint isn't even damaged over here. Oh, I'm going down over that. I'm stoked on this. This is probably the cleanest B5 that you could find with this mileage on it. One of, one of, if, if not, if not the, but a one of. Um, and we'll obviously get it cleaned up. Yeah, He's... The mirrors. The mirrors oh, are... the mirrors. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. We got fully functioning mirrors. You can see Cam in the other side. That's how good they are. And uh, one of the previous owners replaced the rear view because it was full of fluid or something like that. Is that auto dimming rear view? Yeah, the, the fluid. Oh, so it must have been the fluid that failed up. in it. Yeah. It burned up in it. But we got a brand new <laughs> rear view mirror. Oh, that door's squeaking yeah, now? I'm so gonna have to, um, Don't worry, I know how to fix that. I got a guy. <laughs> he does it cheaper. He does it cheaper. Yeah, my, my YouTube mechanic. Um, if you're wondering about the wheels, the wheels are cams. They're staying with cam. That, we're, we're not keeping these. These are... Uh, these are my precious wheels. These are actually, yeah, these are a very rare. One copper and three black. This one's custom. From Audi. For, straight from Audi, from the factory. This is a, a rare factory often. But yeah, these are cams. So... Uh, once I get a set of wheels, I gotta give these back to Cam, but that's not the end of the world. Uh, so, if you've got 5x112, preferably 18 inch wheels, uh, and you wanna hook your boy up, let me know. I need wheels. Ultimately, the question you may be asking yourself, and a question I ask myself many times, is why would I buy a car like this? Well, realistically, I think our paths were always meant to cross. I think it's always been on the radar for me to buy the B5 S4. I think a lot of my friends have had them, I've been jealous, but I've also been a little bit scared. But if you go back to previous videos, I've always said when I have a place to keep the B5 when it's broken and I'm in a comfortable position, I'm gonna buy one. Well, the B5's broken, spoiler alert for the next video, and I got a place to keep it. So here we are. Uh, I cannot be more excited uh, hibiscus red, not my number one choice, but a very unique color. Uh, these wheels do not do it justice. Let me tell you that much. I test fitted the new set for it, which will be coming eventually. I did tease them on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, it's at IgnitionTubeYT. Um, but uh, the new set is silver, not black, and it's not nine colors, and it looks sick. What can you expect from this car? Well, I don't need it to be the fastest, and I don't need it to be the lowest. I don't need it to be the best looking. What I would like to do 
and um, getting back to my roots, kind of back to the GTI days, is build a relatively simple, straightforward, and clean car. Uh, that means we're gonna do paint correction, we're gonna do interior detail, we're gonna get this thing looking great, and then we're gonna start modifying it. I'm 100% confident, because we already have, we're gonna run into issues along the way, we're gonna solve those as they come up, and uh, we're gonna let the B5 write its own story. That light just turned back on, it was off, it's on, it's flickering. This is the starting point. Cam and I went back and forth on whether or not I should buy this one or if I should buy a cheaper one. Ultimately, the cheaper ones would have had more issues for me to solve before I could enjoy it. Uh, it probably would have turned me out from the car. So this car was not cheap, but uh, I think it's a really well-sorted example. Uh, fingers crossed. And uh, I'm excited to learn. If you guys don't know, I've never pulled a motor before. Uh, I've never changed a clutch before. Um, my, my goal was to build a set of wheels this upcoming year. I don't know if that'll happen depending on how much budget this car steals from my wallet. But um, I'd like to learn. I'd like to learn, and this is the perfect case to learn because there's so much documentation online. So what we're gonna do is along the way, when we come across the right DIYs, we are going to update those and we're gonna post B5 DIYs. And we're gonna make sure that we're switching up from the typical uh, Eli stuff. I've done the same thing on the, the S4, the SQ5, the S6 and now my other SQ5, although my other SQ5 is probably gonna be the fastest one. Uh, let's switch it up, let's do something totally different. When you see a B5 video, expect something different. Expect something fun, expect something unique, expect us to be trying something. I really could not be more excited to start this B5 journey. Coming full circle from 10 years ago when I almost bought a clapped one, now here I am with a kind of clapped one. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. We have a lot of B5 stuff coming up. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Go out there and spread some positivity, and I will catch you guys in the next video. That is not good. <laughs> well, that was fun.